It is finally time to sort out this absolute mess that is my craft zone. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, you might not be aware that like, my hobby is basically trying out new hobbies. I do a lot of arts and crafts based things and as a result, I have a lot of arts and crafts based stuff, equipment, things and we've got to the point now where it is so messy and so cluttered that I need to implement some serious organisation. So today we're channeling my inner Stacey Solomon, sort your life out, the home edit, that kind of vibe. I bought a bunch of acrylic organisers. We're going to take everything out, give it a big deep clean and then put it in little like, storage bins, label it all up and it's going to be beautifully organised and it's gonna just make my brain feel nice when I look at it. So to give a bit of a context, this is normally my filming setup. So I have this chair here, which even this has just got stuff on the back of it. And then I have my table, and then I have this four by three Kallax unit full of all my craft stuff. So if we move the table and take a look at actually what is here, everything below the table where you can't see is essentially a mess. And even above the table, to be honest, we, we're not great. I quite like the top here where I've got all my Cricut machines and like a couple of little display items. This side here needs some hair work. And then we have like yarn, all of my Cricut stuff, but the Cricut stuff is just overflowing into like all of this. And especially this bottom corner one, like what is this? It's just a mess of stuff piled on top of each other. It's not good, it needs help. And then paint is all just in there and I've got too much paint. This, I don't even wanna show you what's in this bin because this is just the, I don't know what to do with it. So I chuck it in this very scary box. And then yeah, the rest is basically just sort of like miscellaneous items that I don't know what to do with. So we're gonna fix this today. So this is the before, and hopefully you're gonna see a nice beautiful after. And then if we swim around to the other side, this is actually a recent new addition. And as you can tell, this is equally as awful, but I got my Glowforge machine, which kind of just has stuff on top of it um, because I'm doing this organization. I swear it doesn't normally look like that. But yeah, I have that. So it's another two by two collection unit and in here, it's kind of nothing at the moment. This is just random bits and bobs, some extension leads and things like that. And then we've got like paint brushes in here, crochet hooks in here, projects that are like half on the go. So yeah, from this to this, we really need some help. Step one, we're gonna take literally everything out of here, lie it all out on the floor somewhere in my living room and work out what I still want, what I don't want and then categorize everything based on all the different crafts that we have in here. So I have completely emptied this one. I've not emptied the one over there because I've kind of run out of space to put everything. I think I need a better system for organizing, but this needs a major deep clean because it's probably the first time since I moved in like nine months ago. So deep clean on this and then we're gonna get to organizing. So I'm gonna be real. The scariest thing is probably this. Like I have so much Cricut material and pretty much all of it is actually different things so I can't even group it together and then all of this yarn no one needs that much yarn and then we still have all of this other like miscellaneous stuff and we've had a little bit of an overflow over to this side as well so we have completely cleared the whole thing out and I'm going to talk through a little bit about the storage organization that I'm sort of planning so first thing I bought two of these tall cubby things these are from a company called Create Room Co. They're mainly based in the US and they have some incredible craft storage stuff. I really want like the full, I think it's called the Dream Box, which is like amazing craft storage, but sadly I don't have the space for that. So I just ordered the tool cubby. I'm gonna put all of like my pens, pencils, paint brushes, crochet hooks, scissors, all of those little bits are gonna go in the two of these. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna need two, but I bought two because the shipping was quite expensive because it was coming from the US and I was rather, I would rather have two and not need two than have one and wish that I bought a second one. The next thing I went out and bought is this Ikea paper storage thing, which I haven't actually tested it. Before. Well, we're gonna have to work on that. I guess it's probably not made for holding. I've not actually tested to see if it's gonna fit in one of these holes. So maybe we should do that now. Okay, good, perfect. So the plan for that is I'm gonna put like all of my Cricut flat material. So like card, the like leather that I have or like the random ad hoc pieces that are just square in there and then all the rolls will go somewhere else. I also went out and bought a ton of these acrylic storage bins. 
as I said, really channeling home edit vibes. So I've got three different sizes. We've got the big one. I think I bought 10 of these. They come in boxes of two um, and they fit two across in the unit. Um, the second size, uh, I've got six of these, so enough for two rows because you can get three across in a row. And then finally, these little mini ones, which came in a box of four, I've got two boxes, so I've got eight. Um, and I'm thinking for these, I can like stack all my paints across in a row and you can get four across in the unit. And then I also have two of these um, boxes, again, from Ikea that just sort of like slot in because one of them I think I want to be like a bin in the bottom corner so it's part of the unit and realistically we're probably still going to have a bunch of miscellaneous things that just need to go in a box so I've just made it a slightly nicer box. So I've drawn up this very vague plan across the two units on like what I think it's going to look like in the end so we're working towards this. Um, it might all be a disaster because I'm very good at underestimating how much space things need but if we can stick to this as much as possible, I think it's going to be very successful. So this is what we've got as our setup before I start putting everything in. So I put all the shelves in and all the storage boxes where I think they're going to go. We've had like a little bit of a change like this is here because I couldn't bother to move this shelf up. And a couple of other bits have changed, mainly because these tall cubbies fit perfectly side by side on here. But I'm going to put a back on this on that side eventually. And so I can't put them like that inside here. So they're going to go on the top here. And honestly, I think that's kind of nice. It gives me a bit more space as well. I think the first thing I'm going to do is put the bits back on the top here. This is what the top looking like. And now I'm going to start filling up this with all the yarn. All the yarn is in and I've tried to colour coordinate it as best as possible. Any duplicates went like in the back. This hole here is going to be for all of my embroidery related stuff. I think rather than me just telling you like every time I put something in a box, I'm just going to do it all, really go for it. And then I'm going to give you like a tour at the end. We are so nearly done. As you can see, the last thing is just all the Cricut material. And I got these little elastic bands, which have been absolutely perfect for tying up the rolls like this and getting multiple in one and then having them keep their shape so they can like nicely go in this gap here. So now that everything is in its rightful place, the final thing to do is label everything so I know what's what, like what materials are in here and what's in all these acrylic bins. So I got this label printer off of Amazon. I will link it in the description. And basically you connect it to like an app on your phone, type out the label that you want and then press print. So you go on the app, you set up your label and you type in whatever you want. So I'm gonna do leather and cloth for one of my Cricut materials press print and then out comes the little label and as you can see it says leather and cloth and then I'm just going to stick it on here and that is it completely finished i know it kind of still looks a mess but it is a beautifully organized mess if i just give you like a quick run through we obviously have all the tools in the tool cubby so paintbrushes clay stuff lots of like pens rulers measuring things knives crochet stuff crochet hooks more pens and then on the top we have my cricket machines this little plant because he just lives here because he gets good sun and then all of my little wooden models on the first row we have my embroidery stuff so we have like spare embroidery hooks in this one and then this is my embroidery journal and then we've got all of my reusable tumblers on here Onto the second one is just like a ton of paint stuff. So it's all paint in here and in here. And then second row labeled. So this is like metallic paints, Mod Podge, more Mod Podge and my little glass dishes. Fabric paint, Monopoly paint, more fabric paint and watercolor. Then we of course have all of my yarn and we did overflow down here to this half of a shelf and I tried to put it in colour order. And then of course we have all of my Cricut materials. Honestly, I am so shocked that I managed to turn this from like two to one and we've also got like half down here. We actually even have some more space for more. Although I definitely don't need more because moving on to this shelf here, we have sort of vinyl. This is typically like off-brand vinyl that's like in sort of a wider range of colors and I definitely do not need any more of this. We then have leather and cloth, so cloth related things which maybe aren't super cricket related but couldn't find anywhere else for them and then we have like different colored faux leathers. We have card, my different card stock for my cricket machine and then we have iron-on again this is sort of like off-brand iron-on in a wider range of colors and then on the bottom here we have sort of like 
craft board, printable vinyl, things like that that were like slightly too big to go in the drawers. Then moving across, we've obviously got more yarn in here. Oh, if I can pull it out, we have all of my lino printing stuff. In this one is clay stuff. Onto this one, we have like glue and tape and like resin, things like that, labels, bit random. This is jewelry making and fastening. So we've got like my earring backs, some beads, some other types of fastenings like pin badges and stuff. This one is a little random. It's just like my travel watercolor set. And then also this tin of like random sewing stuff. In here we have textured painting stuff. So basically just this big jug of textured paint, some tools, and then this random canvas that I found. We have overflow baking stuff from my kitchen. This is mainly a ton of cookie cutters under here that just don't fit in the cupboard in my kitchen. So I've moved them to here and then a couple of like cute little sprinkles. This is where it sort of got a bit random and it was just like things they didn't know where to put. Up. So, and then in this one, we have sort of all of these spare wooden models for me to make. I'm gonna keep my camera in here and then any spare film in here. This one is really random. As you can see, it's strings, pegs and ink letter stamps. So lots of different like types of string, some random pegs and then some like ink letter stamps. It's a bit random. It's just like stuff I don't want to get rid of because it might be useful. This is all my Illyria business related stuff. So like previous models and then a couple of like testing bits and bobs. This one is also super random. So it's a lot of like Christmas related stuff and some spare candles. So like, I don't want to throw the cracker snaps out. These letter things might be useful and the ribbon's useful, but it's probably not going to get used anytime soon. This box here is actually just the bin because I want it to be kind of out of the way because I only really need the bin when I'm doing like cricket related stuff. We have books here. So these are actually just all of my monopolies. These eventually will also be monopoly boards. We've got my Granny Squares book, my 365 days of art books. This is like printing paper. This is my easel and I've also apparently got playing cards, Among Us board game stuff, Earthopoly stuff and Disney Princess stuff. It's all apparently stored in here too. These are all of my journals and stuff. Um, I just like to keep them here. I'm probably going to put a bookshelf up eventually and they'll get transferred there. And then finally we have all of my square Cricut mats. Cricut like special materials. It's things like glow in the dark and like colour changing, stuff like that, infusible ink. On the bottom here, we have other cricket stuff. So it's mainly like cards, foils, pens for the cricket. And then this is just overflow. I've never put this. This is actually quilling stuff. So all the different types of quilling paper and this little board. And then I'm just putting that in there because I have nowhere else to put it. And then we have like my guillotine stuff for chopping up materials that slid in there quite nicely. And that is it. That is it. Completely finished. I'm very chuffed with how it turned out. So I'll just remind you what the before looks like. And then this is, of course, what the after looks like. I haven't really shown the process for this side because, to be honest, there wasn't much to it. A lot of this stuff here is not pretty to look at. I didn't really know what to do, but we have cleared the top so I can actually use my Glowforge now. This is like wires and stuff. I need better organization for that for my extension leads. This is a Cricut heat press box. I don't really know why I have like a bag for this, but I needed somewhere to put it. So it's living here. This is just like the box of stuff. This is the box of stuff that I couldn't categorize or it was too big and it's gonna live in there and we're not gonna talk about it. We've then got Glowforge based materials. This is like some PR stuff and then some random like kits and things like that that I need to get around to doing. Um, kind of same here, so PR stuff, stuff for like projects that I'm planning specifically, paint by numbers, and then in here is like spare Monopoly stuff that hasn't been put in a box yet. But yes, that is absolutely everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this process. I hope it was therapeutic to watch. I know we kind of lost the like step one, step two kind of thing, but you kind of got the gist of what I was doing along the way. I'm so chuffed with how it turned out. I think this organization is really gonna be good for my creative mind. As I said before, all of the stuff that I've like used throughout this video, I will put links to in the description in case you're wanting to do the same sort of organization for your home. But yes, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And obviously you can get used to seeing this as the background now rather than the complete cluster that we had before. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.